back by the resources of Newsmax.com. This is America's Forum on Newsmax TV. It's our final hour of this day. Welcome back. I'm J.D. Hayworth. And I'm John Bachman. Of course, J.D., a lot of folks already getting ready for the big birthday for America this weekend. 238, if my mathematics is correct. And one thing that makes America great, one of the many things, is that we have a birthday that we can celebrate together as a country across America. People will be hitting the barbecues and whatnot. But there is some concern out there about the weather, so we'll start there with this Newsmax Now update. Of course, the big weather story is Hurricane Arthur, now with maximum sustained winds of 80 miles per hour, and it continues to move north along the east coast of this country. The storm right now is located about 150 miles south southwest and moving north northeast. A hurricane warning extends from the Virginia North Carolina uh, border to Surf City, North Carolina, along the Outer Banks. Also, another teen's death is adding fuel to the fire in Ian's death is adding fuel to the fire in eastern Jerusalem. The abduction and suspected revenge killing of a Palestinian teenager led to clashes in the streets between protesters and Israeli security forces. Palestinians say the boy was murdered in revenge for those three Israeli teens that were killed after they were kidnapped a few weeks ago. Israeli authorities, most familiar with the case, say they have yet to determine what happened to the 16-year-old Arab boy. The White House Press Secretary Josh Ernest had this to say during yesterday's press briefing. The United States condemns in the strongest possible terms the heinous murder of Palestinian teenager Mohammed Hussein Abu Qader. Again, the United States government is urging restraint from both sides as of right now. Neither one has taken responsibility for the killings of the Arab or Israeli teens. There has been some whispers, more like shouts about this. Israeli Prime Minister ben Benjamin Netanyahu has called on law enforcement to act quickly, called on law enforcement to act quickly to determine who was responsible for both cases. And in Iraq, sporadic fighting between Iraqi troops and Islamic militants continues on the outskirts of the northern town of Tikrit, control of the city by nightfall, while Iraqi officials said troops had reached the outskirts and even pressed deeper into the heart of Tikrit itself. The Iraqi forces are now preparing to carry out a wide-scale offensive, wide offensive to further retake the town. And the fighting in Iraq is putting a strain on the United States and other countries. The U.S. administration is now calling for tighter security measures at foreign airports that have direct flights into the United States. There's concern that terrorists are developing bombs designed to avoid airport screenings. But Britain's transportation secretary is reassuring travelers that security measures at that country's airports are among the toughest in the world. Well, I would like to reassure the traveling public that uh, we've got one of the toughest uh, security regimes in the world, along with the United States. So folks might notice there's going to be some additional screening at airports that are coming into this country from other places. Might, some, might cause some delays as well. According to a counterterrorism official, U.S. intelligence has picked up indications that bomb makers uh, from Yemen-based al-Qaeda groups have traveled to Syria to link up with al-Qaeda affiliates there. So that's part of the concern. Now, U.S. security isn't the only problem President Obama is facing. The out-of-control crisis of children illegally entering the United States has former Texas congressman and once Republican presidential candidate Ron Paul, Ron Paul, I should say, up in arms with the Obama administration. On the Steve Malzberg show, Dr. Paul had this to say about protecting the U.S. borders. We spend way too much money worrying about the borders between uh, Syria and all those places, and we don't seem to have any concern or policies that uh, would be more center policies that uh, would be more sensible here at home. Now also on the same topic, the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention is now activating an emergency facility to handle the health crisis that is still occurring on our border. Thousands of illegal immigrants entering the United States, somewhere upwards of 50,000 at this point. Now, things may be looking up for the U.S. economy. There was a big gain in hiring last month that sent the Dow Jones Industrial Average above 17,000 for the first time today. U.S. employers also added 288,000 workers last month, far more than economists were predicting. The unemployment rate, according to the U.S. government, down to 6.1%.